So at one point in class, we listed the four biomolecules, and we talked about an introduction to organic compounds. So now let's elaborate on what we expect our students to know about these four biomolecules, these macromolecules. Brought to you by Curious Marine Land. So here they are. Carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, nucleic acids. So what my students are expected to know is not only the, that this, these are small molecules that combine to make larger molecules and the examples of the small, the medium, and the large for carbohydrates, what is the basic structure? So these are the next couple slides are notes that my students copied down to help them with a handout. So I'm going to go over all that in a second. So um, if you're one of my students and you've missed class, you should pause and copy down this video. So this is elements that make up a carbohydrate. This is the monomer or what we call the subunit. For carbohydrates, they have we have three different types of, of uh, um, molecules that we want to focus. We have the monomer, the some people will call this a dimer, or two monomers stuck together, or a bunch that are called poly. Right now, we're just identifying the the name of the macromolecule. It's the elements that make it up and the any monomer or polymer names. So next, and so this is hopefully will go really quick quickly. Um, next we have lipids. Now I'm going to actually come back to this slide in a second after I point out here's the elements. Hey, it's the same three: carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. In order to be organic, it has to have at least carbon and hydrogen. But the molecules, the macromolecules, they have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So we have Glycerol, and, and coming off that is three fatty acids. So go ahead and write that down. And actually, I'm going to come back to this and give you a visual. So here is, this is glycerol. It's a three-carbon chain, and attached to each one is a fatty acid. So let's go ahead and look at this. <laughs> Excuse me. So back, to, oops, let's go back to this. If you're one of my students, you should pause and copy down this slide. And this whole PowerPoint is on Blackboard, just the four slides, not these elaborations. So let's go ahead and go to proteins now. Proteins. <clears throat> now, this is the most complex monomer that we have. You'll notice it has four parts. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next slide, and we'll come back to this. And I'll, if you're one of my students, I'll say, okay, pause and copy this part down right now. One minute before I do that, you'll notice the polymer is actually the polypeptide. It's several amino acids combining. So let's look at this. So we have part one, two, three, four. We have the amine group. We have the acid group, which is actually carboxylic acid. These two make up the name amino acid. We have a standard hydrogen because uh, carbon is, has four valence electrons. It's got four covalent bonds and it's equally spread out. And then we have the R group. This R group could be up to 20 different possibilities. For example, and my video's cut off here, but you see amino acids. So each one of the, here's the R group, here's the R group, here's the R group. This is three of the 20 amino acids. Okay, let's go ahead and finish up by talking about uh, mentioning the 20 amino acids. And then let's look at number four on our list. If you're one of my students, I would pause and make sure you've copied this down. Now, the last one, like I said, I want to make this a short video, nucleic acids, and here's the elements, here's the monomer, nucleotides, and here's the polymer. Now let's pause for one second and look at the elements. C-H-O-N, nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen, phosphorus. If we go back to proteins, we have carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen as well, but this time we have sulfur. Carbohydrates and lipids have just these three, and we mentioned that in an earlier video. So this is just showing you, a nucleotide is actually made up of three parts. And obviously when we get our, to our DNA unit, we will go into great detail with this. So there's, there's the polymer. So that's the monomer. This is the polymer. Oops. So this would be a monomer, but this is the polymer. And we see the left and right side, the complementary strands. So that is our video on macromolecules. Um, this is the base information for each one. We expect you to know the monomer name, the polymer name, any subgroups that are made, and the elements that make it up. Brought to you by Curious Marine Land.